Hi there everyone, Josie here from Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here in my channel. Today I have another Dollar Tree farmhouse style decor. And here's the finished product. It's the one on each side of the frame that I created in a farmhouse style as well that I have uploaded about a week ago. So let's get started. You will need two Certificate of Achievement frames, a roll of this contact paper with a wooden grain design, two milk bottles that you can get from the Dollar Tree. You need two tea light candles, the LED ones or battery operated ones. Now you also need this nautical robe. This comes 13 feet for a dollar and that's a pretty good deal. You'll also need a bunch of flowers. Any flower will do. I've chosen this peony. You will need also E6000, hot glue, and also your Caesar acrylic paint and this came from Michaels they're like 50 cents each because they're four in a set two dollars and then the Dollar Tree also sells sponge I'm removing each insert from the frame and I'm going to be using it as the pattern for the cutout that I'm going to make from the contact paper now I'm cutting the contact paper and I am choosing the grain that goes vertically as opposed to horizontally. So you can do whatever you want with this, but I've just chosen the one where the grain goes from top to bottom rather than from side to side. I'm saving this extra strip for later. I'm going to go ahead and frame the pieces of contact paper that I cut out and going to put back the backing that came with the frame then I'm going to be using my nautical rope and I'm going to be applying glue hot glue on top of the silver frame there and cover them with the nautical rope So in order for this to work out, because it's not going to fit inside, okay? And uh, besides, if it's hanging, you don't want to always remove the frame and turn it on even if it fits. So I'm going to put it upside down. And then I am going to camouflage this with this contact paper. Let me just use this just all the way here, all the way there. So you want to include a little bit of greenery there and then make sure that because this is the front so make sure that it kind of points that way because this is going to be at the back okay but don't glue it where the switch is so let's just do that here. Okay, and then put another one, maybe the smaller, the smaller one. Put it here. So to camouflage the tea light, I place three peonies or any type of flowers in your case on top or in this case at the bottom of each tea light. Next, I'm adding a trim. This is just a trim or bow that I have in my stash. This is made of burlap. You can use whatever you want. If you want to tie a rope, you can do that as well. I'm also adding my E6000 in hot so There it is. Now let me try to turn on the lamp or the light. So the tea light actually is just optional. If you don't want it, that's fine. I just kind of want to put it, uh, the jar more into good use. So let's see if it's going to work. All right, so there it is. It's lighting up.
So I've decided to add this, like an afterthought, and I suggest that you do this before you even put the rope. Um, the reason why is because once it dried up and it got darker, when I was filming the final footage, I couldn't see the frame anymore because it was just too dark. And I believe that if I paint it or sponge paint it with acrylic, it'll be better. Now the acrylic paint, some of the Dollar Tree stores do sell the acrylic paints. You can also find the arts and craft supply section. They come in little containers. But Michaels or Walmart, they sell this for like 50 cents each. Michaels sells them four in a pack for two dollars okay so multiple or different colors so I'm just choosing white and as you can see I'm not even going to make it so even I'm just kind of like doing a sponge technique here with my brush my sponge brush and I'm purposely not painting all the frames because I want it to look rustic so I don't want to make it too perfect it's like it's good because i'm really trying to make this rough and rustic really farmhouse that's what's good about farmhouse sometimes you can even distress it to show the black a little bit and i think i like it better instead of just the black i'm gonna show you the finished product so i hope you agree that it's much better it has more depth in it than just the black frame look at this it adds a little texture when I sponged it it looks more aged and rustic and then the wood grain just popped up I think that's much better than this silver here I'm gonna leave it like that popping out it looks like galvanized tin All right so yeah so I'm gonna continue on with this one I just want to show you how it looks like can barely see it, especially with a dark background than if I use black. So here it is everybody. I have placed this along with the home sweet home frame that I created last time and I flanked that frame with this two wall faux sconces that I created out of Dollar Tree materials as well. So as you could see, I have turned on the tea light. I've actually waited for it to get a little darker so that you can see it much better because actually the end of the hallway behind me has a window and it's so bright. There's some glare. So that's why I waited for it to get a little darker and I dimmed the light a little bit so that you can see the tea light as it is on and as it is flickering. But let me just show you how it looks like a total darkness. See, even if it's not a fairy lights that you use with just those two votive, it still works. So of course it's gonna be more dramatic because fairy lights, they have more bulbs in them, but I think these two tea lights are perfect price-wise and there is still dramatic effect or impact now I would have preferred probably spacing this at least two inches apart or three inches apart it's a little crowded here but this is a narrow wall I just want to show you how it will look like along with the other project you don't have to do the one in the middle you can just use this two or maybe you can just use one and it will cost you less than four dollars to make and that's what I like about this project. So each frame is less than $4, so that means that's $8 or less you can create this project. And the one in the middle, if you're interested, I'll be linking it up here so that you can also create the Home Sweet Home sign using only Dollar Tree materials. That only cost me $5. So hope you like this video, everybody. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with anyone that you think would be interested in the farmhouse style and staying on budget or below budget as much as possible and if you like this video please let me know if you want me to make more farmhouse style videos so that i can upload them here on my channel have a great day everybody hope to talk to you in my next video bye bye